Hey everyone, it's me, Cloak Schemer. And you may be asking yourself, Cloak, this isn't your usual voice. Usually you sound like a bootleg critical. Well, that's true, but I'm actually using an AI voice. If you're very curious, this is how I sound without it. Yo, what's up everybody, it's Critical. See? And I'm gonna tell you how to do this. So, uh, let's get on tutorial why my hip tracking's acting all weird. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is a good AI voice changer. And the one I used for my intro was this one, Dubbing AI. Honestly, I kind of think this might be the best, but there's probably some, there's probably gonna be one person in the comment that goes, ho, ho, ho. I actually know the best AI voice and I really don't give a shit. So here we go. We got voice mod, voice AI, or voice.ai, and dubbing AI. There are plenty of other alternatives to uh, voice dubbing or voice modger, but the reason why I like dubbing AI the most out of all these voice model modules is dubbing AI has a more active, like, feedback like it's very fast compared to a uh, voice mod well voice mod is also good but at the same time it's like it's not really ai voices it's more like filtered voices and voice.ai is good but at the same time it's very uh pc heavy like it, it needs a lot of processing power to run so Dubbing AI is not really heavy in the processing power and it like uh, has a fast reaction because uh, a problem I had with voice AI as well is it does not have like a very active voice, you know, response. Like there might be a like two second delay, three second delay, depending on how much you're trying to like make it really good. I mean, I, I won't I'll admit voice AI is good. But at the same time, there's still that processing power it needs to be really good. And dubbing AI kind of has a balance there where it's not like trying to take over your entire PC's processing power. And it actually does, you know, all that. So for the for this tutorial, I'm going to tell you, uh, I would just recommend getting dubbing AI. Uh, link will be in the description, but here you just click on download free. It'll download this exe i had a second one because i had to redo my recording i know first time in history but i'm not going to download it because i've already done it got it so once you download this uh just do the simple exe setup i'm not going to do that here but uh yeah just a simple exe setup you know click on it uh it opens up tells you where it wants to go and then you just do the installation process so let's get on to the tutorial of the uh, dubbing ai ui all right, you son of a bitch. I'm going to show you how to do this shit. All right, so first thing... Oh, crap. What the hell did I just drop? All right, I dropped something in my house. So first thing, let me close dubbing AI. I had a first recording, but it went bad, so I'm going to do a second recording. What the hell? Oh, yeah, my voice. Boop, 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 and the video broadcasts. All right. <clears throat> So first thing you want to do when you open dubbing AI, it's always going to ask you, you want to make this thing. Do you want this to make changes to your device? You're going to want to click yes. And it, you're not going to see me do it because it's like going to be a black screen. But let me do that real quick while I pop up dubbing AI. All right, here we go. Popped up dubbing AI. Oh, give me a little lag. So let me give you some pro tips. Some pro tips. Let me pop up dubbing AI. So here we go, dubbing AI. <clears throat> First thing you're gonna notice, I have voices. I have every single character unlocked. But when you're starting off as a new person, you're not gonna have this. I have like the monthly subscription. You could buy a permanent or a monthly. I think the monthly is like $15. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. But one thing you could do is you could log in every day and get some points. And with these points, you could just uh, buy a permanent voice. And they give you samples like every every day. It says every week, but I think it's every day. They give you like five, maybe six or seven voices for free that you could just use for that whole day. Uh, it's always good to like try them out, see what voices you like. 
And then you could like, like say I like this SpongeBob voice. I could just click on this and add it to a soundboard if I liked it. So if I ever want to purchase that voice later on when I have enough points, I could just go to the soundboard and say, hey, here's the voice I bought. I like it. So there's that. So that's all the free stuff. So let's get on to the settings. One thing I want to say when you get dubbing AI is you want to go to general in the settings and run automatically at startup. You just want to turn that off. I have no idea why every single app does this, but I always hate that when things like uh, automatically run at the startup. I mean, some people like that. They like to have like 50 million apps load up, but for me, I'm just going to turn this off. So let's go to the audio. First thing, audio, you choose your mic. My mic is the NVIDIA broadcast and volume down here is how the out, how loud the output is going to be so it might be too loud for me it want, if like if you're going to use this for vr chat you could go to uh dubbing ai and you could see holy shit that thing's loud as hell look at that so i'm gonna lower that down i think i could like see a little bit here lower that down lower that down do 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 do, do. Boo, 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 boo. So I think maybe 50% is pretty good for me. So I'm going to keep it at a 50. I mean, it might be too low now, but it depends. Hear myself. This is where you go if you want to hear yourself. Like if you're trying to test it out, this one also controls the volume of the hear yourself. Like in case you want to get a good pitch and whatnot. Record. So advanced settings. This thing's probably going to be closed by default, but advanced settings. Advanced settings is real is good because you get the record again option and this is for the pro pro is for free people so you don't have to worry about this this one does an automatic calibration for you for your voice now one thing to note is you always have to be careful of how you pitch your voice because i'm going to be doing the record real quick so let me like you just got to read this when you hit start so let me read this while i hit start Dubbing AI focuses on revolutionizing human communication through natural and ultra realistic AI voices. This is the best AI voice enhancer I've ever seen. I use it on my Twitter space, Discord, and games every day. And there you go. I got the thing. You don't have to complete the whole sentence. Maybe you'll finish before you could complete it. But once you get your uh, recording in, just click save. And that's going to calibrate every voice you pick to your natural voice that you did. Now... An example of this is let me choose like I'm at the Paimon voice because this was part of the previous one. Like here, here's an example. I'm going to use Paimon's voice and I'll show you what's going to happen if I like like at uh, probably something. But if I'm using the Paimon voice, two things happen here. Paimon is a female character and I'm a guy. So if I'm using a voice like that, if I make my voice pitch too high, it's going to break the voice, but if my if I make my pitch too low, it it actually makes the voice kind of sound more deeper, but not breaking it. I'll show you an example here real quick. So I'm gonna turn on Paimon and I'm gonna turn on Pro. I'm gonna talk normal at first, then I'm gonna raise my voice's pitch, and then I'm gonna lower my voice's pitch, and you'll hear the difference. So Alright guys, here's me using the Paimon voice. As you can see, this is me talking regularly. And this is me talking pitch. And this is me when I talk really low. And let's get back to the regular. And I'm gonna disable this now. As you see, I'm back to my regular cloak schemer voice. Maybe it's like too low or some shit. Either or, uh, let me turn off this voice dub AI. So yeah, just a little cautionary. You always want to test that like in case like high pitches are going to break voices and low pitches will just make them sound deeper. But uh, yeah, it's always good to test that with uh, your voice. And yeah, that's just going to be in the warning section at the end of the video. Like I'm just going to give out some little warnings. But uh, one also thing, like if you're switching back and forth between voices, you want to make sure to uh, be careful with how you speak. Like if you're like having fun and stuff like this with it, your voice, your real voice is going to be speaking during the 
transition between a different voice. Like, uh, let me try again. I'm going to switch between one voice and another voice. So let's get back to the uh, AI voice tester. All right, guys. So this is me. And this is what happens when I switch to another voice. I'm going to click. And for a few seconds, they might have heard my real voice, but now I'm at the AI voice. And let me disable this one as well. All right. Uh, let me uh, here. So there you go. So yeah, there are some cautionary things you want to keep aware of. Uh, whenever you're in VR, another tip I want to give you is... Uh, you might want to open up dubbing AI after you get in VR because sometimes the mic settings is not going to like get your VR mic if you're using like the headsets mic. So you might want to open up dubbing AI after you get to, on the VR mic and you want to re-record yourself with the uh, record yourself thing in the pro settings or the advanced settings. So yeah, that's just a simple tutorial on dubbing AI. You could have your own soundboard and the soundboards are part of your mic as well. So like if I have my mics, like, let me go here. If I have my mic set to dubbing AI, I could talk regularly, but I could also use these soundboards as like a reg, like just a sound, you know, I could have sounds and they would play through my mic. So that's a little fun thing you could do too. But as I said, uh, for free people, you're only going to be limited to a few voices every day. But always try and save the voices and collect your dailies and try to do some of these quests. So that way you could like unlock a voice faster. I mean, it took me maybe like five to six days to get 700 points just to unlock one permanent voice. So it's not that bad if you have like just one voice you want to set on. So it has uh, set up instructions too. Oh shit, I don't want to read that. I messed up something. So yeah, let me uh, get now. I'm going to get in VR and give you some warnings and some tips and tricks. So uh, be right back. All right. You made it this far into the video. My hip tracker is probably going crazy again, but precautions and warnings and other shit. Maybe it's not that much. Maybe it's just small, but the reason why I'm doing this is one. Keeping your voice at a high pitch, it's going to break the voice changer. Keeping your voice at a medium pitch, it's going to be balanced. But the lower your pitch is, the better the voice maker. Like, it's not going to make it better, but it's just, it won't break if you're, like, making a low pitch voice. So always keep that in mind. So, you know, high pitches, your voice is going to break. Medium pitches, which is basically your natural voice or the voice you recorded with, that would be fine. And making your pitch lower, that'll be also fine. Next up, I got to get closer to the camera, a boob cam. But please don't try and use this as a way to catfish people. Thank you. Yes, that's another precaution. I think there are some people who might use voice changers as a way to catfish. I mean, you could still tell a voice changer from a voice changer, but you could tell a person a... Some, like you could tell somebody something and then they'll probably believe it. You know how desperate people are on VR chat. So I'm going to say that. Try not to use voice changers as like some way to like fish people. It's just voice changer. I expect people to either, you know, troll with it, have fun with it, maybe RP with it. And in some cases, maybe you're a mute who just doesn't like using your real voice. So maybe you want to use that. I would recommend a VRCFT as well. I'll put that in the description as well. It's an automatic uh, typer for mutes, so you don't have to like do this whole shit, you know, typing out your crap. So VRCFT, that's another thing for mutes as well, you know, because I know mutes might want to use a voice changer, but at the same time, people are people know a voice changer from a voice changer, but there are some people who don't, and I'm, I'm just making sure people aren't like trying to go around and flirt hit on people with a female voice and going, hey, this is me as a female voice. Fucking uh, go out with me and shit. Don't do that. Next up. I don't think there's much of anything else to add to this voice changer. Uh, I covered the pitches. Told people not to catfish with it. I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. There might be something else. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I could just add it into the comments. 
But yeah, with that out the way, I think I'm just going to call it a day. So hopefully this was helpful. Maybe there'll be some more people using the the voice module thing. You know, it'd, it'd be fun to have some varieties. So whether you're a mute, you're a troll, you're all of the above. Uh, dubbing.ai, very good. I'm not sponsored, but uh, I'm going to head out. So yeah, see ya.